Hello, all the learners. I am Dr. Navin Tiwari, Associate Professor, School of Computing, Graphic Era, Hell University, Bhimpal. Today, we are going to learn about servlets. Our learning objective of this lecture are to understand what is Java servlets and to know about HTTP request and response. In previous lecture, we have discussed about the web technology. This is in continuation of the previous lecture. Let us start. The servlet site technology known as servlets is based on Java technology. Servlets will likely to be created using Java technology, which is a thread-based technology. Servlets offer a component-based platform-independent method for developing web-based application. Let us know about the web and HTTP. The protocol that powers the World Wide Web, that is WWW, is called HTTP. You all are must be aware of this HTTP technology. Every time your browser asks for a page, it does so by contacting a web server and sending an HTTP request. The page is subsequently sent by the server in response, this time using HTTP, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Hypertext Transfer Protocol is known as HTTP that is invented by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, the father of World Wide Web or we can say the father of Internet. Hypertext is a specific sort of text that has been programmed using a widely used programming language called Hypertext Markup Language that is HTML. I think we all are aware of this HTML technology. Now the HTTP offers a standard for communication between a web browser and a web server. It is a collection of guidelines for exchanging data between these computers. Web browser is a client that asks for a data and the web server is the computer which provides the data. On the World Wide Web, information like text, photos and other multimedia files are shared. HTTP is indirectly used every time a web user launches their browser. For distributed collaborative hypermedia information systems, it is an application protocol. Now, the HTTP request and response, you are requesting a web page when you click a link in your web browser. How is this request carried out? Let us find out. The client for this request on your machine is your web browser. In other words, it is the one who makes the request. To submit a request, the client gets in touch with the server. The server, which is a different machine connected to the internet, that is used to provide the services is using server software to respond to HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol request. When it receives a page request, it locates or creates the content and delivers it back. The protocol that these two computers use to communicate with one another is known as HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Now, what are servlets? Let us understand this. In order to improve the functionality of servers that host applications that are accessed via the request response programming model, servlets, a Java programming language class, are utilized. Although the servlets are capable of responding to any form of request, they are commonly employed to increase the capabilities of a web server hosted application. For these applications, the Java Servlet technology defines servlet classes that are particular to Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Uh, the class that is the javax.servlet and javax.servlet.http packages offers interfaces and classes for creating servlet. We all know about the interfaces and classes. Classes are used to create objects in Java and Interfaces are abstract classes that we use in Java. All servlets must implement the servlet interface, which contain a list of lifecycle methods. The HTTP servlet class has methods for managing HTTP specific services such as do get and do post methods. We all understand these two methods, do get and do post, in later. Now, a servlet container. A servlet container is a compiled, executable, and multi-threaded program. The container's primary job is to load, configure, and run servlet. 
a container can host numerous active servlets listener etc allowing it to manage a large number of requests in the previous slide let us see again in this you can see the whole servlet life cycle uh, uh, we are going to explain this servlet life cycle one by one so first of all the uh, servlet class is loaded we have uh, seen this the class loader must load the servlet class the servlet class is loaded when the web container receives the first request for the servlet the, uh, the next one a fresh servlet instance is made that means the object of the servlet class is created the web container creates the servlet instance after loading the servlet class the servlet instance is created only once during the servlet life cycle this is important one this is created only one time then the in it method is called in it method is called initialization method which is which is used to uh, allocate the memory to servlet object the web container only calls the init function once after creating the servlet instance the init function is used to initialize the servlet the java x dot servlet is what it is the life cycle of the servlet interface the init methods syntax is shown below that is uh, we can see the syntax public void init init the name of the method then we have to pass a uh, uh, object of servlet config class that is servlet config config and it throws a exception that is a servlet exception so in the whole the public void init servlet config config throws servlet exception in the next phase of life cycle the service method call every time a request for the servlet is received the web container calls the service function the first three stages are previously said are carried out if the servlet is not initialized and then the service method is called the servlet is only initialized once the following is the syntax of the service method of the servlet interface that is public void service we have to pass the uh, object of servlet request class and servlet response class that is servlet request request and servlet response response and it throws the exception that is servlet exception and io exception and then finally the destroy method is called the web container calls the destruct method before removing the servlet instance from the service it gives the servlet the opportunity to free up any resource including memory threads etc and the uh, the syntax of the destroy method is as below that is public void and destroy you uh, could not do anything in this method this is only used to destroy or to clear the memory instance now what are the uses of servlet this is very important as uh, the uses tells us about the servlet utilization methods that is acquires requests from clients in the form of http request and it acquires data from the accepted request utilize the database ejbs enterprise java beans or other services to carry out content creation or business logic it also construct and send an http response to the customer or redirect the request to another servlet or jsp page now the servlet architecture you can see the architecture in the screen an http request is initially sent by the client browser to the web browser following that web container receives a request from the web server the request object is then sent from the web container to the servlet a response object is then created by the servlet and sent to the web container it is one more converted by the web container into an equivalent http response for the web server finally the web server returns an http response with html content to the client browser the advantage of servlets the main goal of the servlet specification is to establish a reliable method for transmitting content to client in accordance with the client server architecture servlets are used to create a dynamic content online despite the fact that servlets can reply to any request they are typically employed to improve the functionality of hosted applications on web server for these kind of application java servlet technology specify particular servlet classes of http and the application of servlets are it enables the reading of explicit data supplied by clients on a web page it has an html form it reads the http implicit request data that client sent to the browser the browser compliant media types that is cookies and compression techniques fall under this category 
it produces the result by processing the data this procedure might include communicating to a database calling a web service or simply computing the result on your own it also provides client with explicit data there are other formats in which you may send this document including text that is html or xml binary that is gif graphics excel etc the implicit http response is sent to the client this includes activities like informing the browser or other clients of the sort of content being returned now the outcomes of this learning are we have understand the concept of servlets we also came to know about http request and response thank you all of you